backstage. Yeah, wh what were you doing? I just hanging out in my zebra suit. Why? <laughs> Are you ready to play this game? I'm not sure. Oh, it's so fun. All you have to do is be totally honest oh, oh. and uh, answer the question and then hit this button. Okay, honesty Don't button. hit it first and then answer. Okay, because that seems to be what you would naturally want to do. Oh. You're, no, no, no. The sound effects guy just showed up. He, is, that, um, <laughs> is that the sound it's gonna make? Yes, it is. The ringing sound? Yeah. They, you want something different? I can make I, something different. No, I just was... Yeah. Oh, oh that's pleasant. It's, it's very pleasant. It's gentle. It's like the little bell at a, at a hotel desk mm -hmm. or something. Yes. We could have done... <laughs> Auga! That's we, a, yeah. I was gonna say it! Oh. We're the same person. We are the same person. Yeah. I don't know why I wasn't in Pretty Woman. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Okay. What was your favorite job before getting into the business? I, I worked at a shoe store. I enjoyed that. <laughs> <laughs> They're changing it up. Um, who was your first celebrity crush? Oh, maybe um, Jimmy McNichol. Who? Jimmy McNichol, Christy McNichol's brother. Why am I speaking into the microphone? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> We're both known as America's sweetheart. When are Not you... after this. <laughs> when are you your sweetest? Uh, when being filmed. <laughs> If you had to be stranded on an island with one of your former co-stars, who would it be? Would it be George Clooney, Brad Pitt, or Tom Hanks, and why? Hard to say. Well, they each provide unique um, assets to being stranded. I mean, Tom has done it. True. And then what does Brad bring to it? Brad brings more of just an element of companionship and optimism. George? Well, you would just laugh and get super sunburned and just laugh and then die. <laughs> Where do you keep your Oscar? Uh, in the parlor. <laughs> <laughs> Can you okay, explain here's what's your... funny about that answer. Yes, yes. Can you explain your parlor? <laughs> <laughs> It's in a room that has a piano in it that my daughter plays that we call it the piano room and I thought that might sound pretentious. So, I said, <laughs> so you thought parlor sounded less pretentious. <laughs> okay. Is Darling, that... are you in the parlor pra practicing your piano? <laughs> You're so down to earth. Okay. All right. Well... <laughs> That's Julia Roberts, everybody. We'll be right back. Julia and Julia. It's a Julia sandwich. It yes. Is. It is. Well, actually, it's an Ellen it's sandwich. Actually, technically, it's an Ellen oh, sandwich. Yes, yes. It's Julia, it's Julia bread. Julia bread. bread. Yes. You'd yeah. be the bread. Okay. It's Julia yeah. bread. Yeah. All right. I mean, it's a tale of two Julias. Yeah. It's a tale of two Julias. Yeah. Or Julia and Julia. Remember that movie? Yeah. Remember that? Was it Julia and Julia? I don't know. <laughs> what was it? Does it anybody was remember? Uh, or maybe it's Ju just Julia. Julia and Julia. No, it's Julia and Julia. Julia and no, not that one. Let's say Julia as many times as we can until it doesn't sound like a word anymore. <laughs> no, what was that movie? Do you know who I'm talking about? Julia, Julia, Julia? Uh, forget it. I don't know, but I, I said Julia and Julia earlier, and it sounded like something that should happen. So maybe today we form... It's happening. We, let's make a movie together, the two of Done. you. Done. Okay. When do we start shooting? Uh, we're, we're now. Shooting. Oh, we, we are we have, shooting. Yeah, we oh, are this shooting. this is the movie. This okay. is it. <laughs> I don't think it's going well. No, so it's going to be very, very good. Okay. Um, and uh, so Julia and I yes? scared Julia when she came into uh -oh. her dressing room today <laughs> because I love scaring people. I scared her last time. It scared me bad. It's bad, real bad. So we waited for Julia to come in with no makeup. I might point out. Well, but you look fabulous. You look great. You look fabulous now. Yeah. yeah. You know what? You look. You, it's you, variations on a the theme. Yeah. yeah. Right. You're the pretty on top of pretty. Screw me. All yeah. right. Watch. Let's watch. <laughs> All right. Well, can I just we hit you on
<laughs> that was fun. Just some girls hanging out in the toilet. Yeah. Right. We are back with Julie Louis Dreyfus, joined by Twitch, who has uh, free to move around the studio. It's time to play one of our favorite games, Five Second Rule. Yes, that's the point. We're against each other. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you doing? You like games? I love games, but time crunch type of games like these, I do not like. So, screw you for inviting me to this one. <laughs> But you have five seconds. It's not time crunch. It's you have five seconds. Five seconds to you seems like an eternity, does it? Yes. 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 Well, that's where we differ. Uh-huh. I see. <laughs> well, Twitch is going to read a category. Yes. And then we will take turns. You saw Quinn do so well in this. Yes. Um, and uh, we have five seconds to name three things. I'll go first to show you how easy it is. <laughs> and I don't know the categories. I'm not shown them, so I cannot cheat. Twitch, what are they? <laughs> 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 Ellen, name three things you yell when you win a game. I won! La ha! In your face! L loser! Wow, bonus points. There's four. Yeah. Well, she I get, I get carried away. <laughs> and I still had 1.8 seconds. Can you apply that to your next one? No, word? you cannot. <laughs> okay. Okay, Julia, well, name guys. three things you yell when you lose a game. Oh, I oh why? That's not fair. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Good. Okay. Ellen, tell us three things you've done in the White House. Oh. Uh, I have danced, I have received the Medal of Honor, and I have been carded. <laughs> <laughs> Point one. One second. Nice. Okay, Julia, name three things you yell when watching the news. Give me a break. Get off the screen. Get out of office. <laughs> 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 Ellen, name three things you can squeeze. Uh, uh, a butt, a uh, lemon, and a uh, kiwi. <laughs> I don't, I don't, but, I object. Am I allowed to object? Yes, you're you objecting to uh, the kiwi? Yeah, I have a problem with that. I just, I squoze one this morning because... <laughs> I didn't, I didn't squeeze it for juice. I, did, I tested it to see if, uh, for the rightness, so I squeezed it. Go on. <laughs> OK. Yeah. Julia, name three things you can stretch. Um, pantyhose, uh, bubble gum, and a rubber band. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You did it. We're tied. Right up. Oh, we are? It's all tied up. All right. All right. OK, Ellen, give us three other words for butt. Mm. Um, bootay, uh, caboose, uh, ass. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, wow. OK, Julia, give uh -oh. us three daytime-friendly nicknames for a woman or man's private parts. Um, cooch. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I want to apologize to all of the United States of America. All right. This is the eighth season of Modern Family. Yes. And it really, I, I just, I don't think I've seen a show that I'm disappointed by. They're always, it's funny, there's always warm, like heartwarming things at the end of the show. I know, we are so, so lucky, and to think that I almost didn't do it. Really? Well, I mean, I wanted to desperately, but I was so pregnant with the twins in the, uh, during the audition process, and they, they would just bring me in and stare at my stomach. I think maybe they legally couldn't say, like, what's that about? Yeah. Like, <laughs> um, and I think they thought I was so large that I was going to give birth any minute, and then I could maybe do the show after. But instead, they were just playing it very, like, mm-hmm. So I thought, I'd go home and cry and think, I'm never going to get this, the greatest job in the world. So I took myself out of first place for it. Because there was another job that was auditioning where the lady was pregnant. And I was like, I need a job. I, I, I'd like to have the best job, the modern family job, but I can't have it, so I'm, I'll put myself in the position for that. Then I had to do some scrambling to get the, get the job back. But I mean, when I think of that, that can keep me up in the middle of the night, waking up in the middle of the night, like, oh my god, I almost didn't do it. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> well, what, what, I mean, I don't know what my life would be like right now. It would be different, but it would be just as good in a different way. So uh, this is this is really unlikely also with this show, yeah. is that everybody genuinely gets along. Like, we do. It's a great cast, and everybody really likes each other. We genuinely do, although I got, I got every now and again, I get a call, or it, you get it in the email, it says, like, well, so-and-so trash mag will be running a story that... You, and this this week it was, that you are icy to Sofia Vergara, Sofia Vergara, because <laughs> of her, you are jealous of her fame. So I email her last night, and then we talk, and I'm like, what am I, what should I say? Because we're friends. I'm like, what should I say? You're funny. She goes, I please just borrow my blouse. So <laughs> I'm borrowing her blouse. I <laughs> Is that her blouse? I please. Just borrow my blouse. Yeah. But you were both huge stars, and this was the 60s and 70s, and there must have been some wild parties. I mean, what, <laughs> I want to hear, like, what, what you are some You want to hear the, only about the, yeah, the good stuff, I right? I want to hear, like, what is the wildest thing that happened during, because the two of you must have gone to, like, crazy parties in the 60s and 70s. No, we didn't really. Uh, we didn't actually um, go out an awful lot, Ellen. But when we did, it wasn't too... Crazy. There was one party that actually was manufactured for the movie Ten, and uh, uh, I think my character in Ten had to look through a telescope and see that my boyfriend, Sweet Dudley Moore, was in fact um, invading a neighbor's house where they were having an orgy. And, <laughs> and I must say, there was a day when Blake was shooting the orgy, and uh, he said, Julie, you've just got to come on over here. It's an unbelievable sight. So, <laughs> so I went dashing over. Of course I did. And uh, what Blake had done was hire an aw awful lot of people who really are very at ease doing orgy films, I guess. <laughs> and. Uh, um, uh, I walked in and everybody was stark naked and, and lying around very happily and casually and treating it totally normally. And there was sweet Dudley in the middle of it all. And, you know, he wasn't very, very tall. And Blake put him between two enormously statuesque ladies. And, and so he was completely naked. And these two ladies were naked, but their bums were up here and little Dudley's was down there. <laughs> So sweet. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so sweet. Um, well, <laughs> it, was, it was more adorable than anything else, because Dudley was so adorable. Yeah. Oh, man, that was it. That movie still holds up. I watched it recently. And Did that, you? Yeah, no. it, that really still holds up. Liquor's basically sugar, so if you could have a spoonful of any alcohol, <laughs> what would it be? Uh, Without a doubt, a really good shot of uh, cognac, I think. Yeah. All right. Cognac. Um, what is your favorite curse word uh, and the last time you said it? Um, what time is it now? Uh, <laughs> uh, well, about <laughs> five minutes ago. Um, my favorite curse word... God, I got so many. What am I going to do? It's, um, hard, it's hard to pick your favorite. It is hard to pick your favorite. A few of my favorite things, a few of my favorite <laughs> curse words. It doesn't work, does it? No. no. I can't tell you. I All mean, right. It depends what comes out, when and how. Right, OK. Let's say you slammed your finger in a car door. <laughs> uh, well, apart from the absolute screaming noise I'd make, I guess it would be pretty strong. No. All right, that's not that bad. No, that's not no, bad at that's all. That's not bad at all. Let's <clears> tame. <throat> yeah.